Then the third method to calculate GDP would be the production method, also known as the value added approach method. This method calculates the total output of all industries within the country. Each product goes through a different industry before it's finally completed, like from agriculture to industrial to the retail sector. In this method, we segregate the value added by each industry to make the final product. For example, let's say the cost of producing one pair of jeans is $50. To produce this pair, we need the cotton as raw material, say $10. This would be sent to the factory to produce the jeans at a total of $30. These jeans would then be sold at the store for a total of $50. So the value added by each industry is calculated by subtracting the cost from the previous industry. So in this case, the farmer has added a value of $10. The value added by the factory would be 30 minus 10, that is $20. Similarly, the value added by the store would be 50 minus 30, that would be $20. Take another product, say bread. The farmer grows the wheat, gives it to the bread factory who bakes the bread, and then it's sold at the general food store. Thus, each industry will add a separate value to the end product. Adding this total value would get you the total output of the country. An advantage of this method is that we can actually study the performances of each sector. If you like this video, please consider subscribing as we will be releasing one video every week. See you in the next one.